Ukraine's special live coverage of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and we do have breaking news. The United States is suspending operations at the U.S. Embassy in Belarus. That's up here in Minsk. Why? Well, it comes as there is word that the Belarusians may be sending soldiers over the border into Ukraine themselves. The U.S. suspending operations there, and we also understand authorizing the voluntary removal of some U.S. personnel from the U.S. Embassy in Moscow. CNN's Kylie Atwood, live at the State Department with the latest here. Tell us about these decisions, Kylie. Yeah, John, two things happening this morning, just to demonstrate how quickly moving this situation is. First of all, as you said, the U.S. Embassy is suspending operations in Belarus, and on the second hand, they are going to be allowing non-emergency personnel and family members of U.S. diplomats who are in Russia to leave the country. We should note that this comes just a day after the State Department told all Americans who are in Russia they should leave immediately because of all these flight cancellations that we have seen out of Russia. They said they should get on commercial flights while they still can. And on the Belarus side, this news comes as, of course, we are reporting this morning that Belarus is prepared to join the invasion into Ukraine alongside Russia. Now, that's according to uh, Ukrainian intelligence reported by R.J. Tapper. And we are also told that the White House is watching what Belarus does here incredibly closely. We have already seen the Biden administration slap sanctions on Belarus, but they say that they are prepared to slap even greater prices on Belarus if they continue to get intimately involved in this crisis. John. All right, Kylie Atwood for us at the State Department. Kylie, please keep us posted. Again, you have on all these various fronts, and they're in this concerted push from Belarus and elsewhere toward the Ukrainian capital of Kiev. But with our own eyes, CNN has seen the Ukrainians pushing that attack back. Matthew Chance was there. Let us show you what he saw just moments ago.